this is probably gonna be one of the shortest videos I've done. I spoke a few months ago about this cool pile PA system, which has inputs for guitar, mic, can take um, iPod on the top or uh, Apple phone or something else that you wanna put music in through here. It's got a number of different inputs and some good controls around bass treble. You can add a little echo. And the thing only costs $135, which is pretty inexpensive. And I used it for some outdoor gig scenarios. Did pretty well. The one thing I was a bit concerned about was the mic that comes with us. This thing goes for $75 on its own, but when it's bundled with the amplifier, with the PA system, it's a pretty good deal, right? $75 mic included with a $135 mini portable PA system. And as I mentioned in the review video, you know, it has this extendable handle, it's got wheels in the bottom. It's not that light, but it's not that heavy either. So it is kind of portable. The wheels are a bit rickety. The handle isn't quite long enough to really be able to trundle along easily. You gotta stoop a little bit. So portable, but not over long distances but reliable and pretty cool and, and did the job. But what I said was that the mic itself, the wireless mic that comes with it was not so reliable. What we noticed was that it kept cutting out and it would just, you'd be singing and then the sound would cut out and maybe tap it again and it would start going, which gave me the impression there was a, a loose cable. And when I tried to repair it, you know, you can take the top off, but that's all you can kind of, there's nothing else to easily take out or disconnect. You can take the battery case off but there's really no way to get inside to look and see if there's any loose wiring. So I couldn't see anything immediately wrong. Didn't want to rip the thing apart. Sent it back to Pile and just tried to see if they would repair it. So when I reviewed the wireless mic separately from this, you know, I, I said in my video about this guy, the PA is awesome, but I wanted to do a separate video just to say, hey, look, the mic itself is not so great. And I said in that video, when I got the thing back from Pile, once they'd repaired it, I'd give a quick update. So here's the quick update. They repaired it, they sent it back. I was super grateful. Didn't take that long. It wasn't super quick, but it didn't take too long. And it was free to me. They didn't charge for it, but it doesn't work at all now. So I put the batteries in and I hit the on switch. The light was on but there was nothing coming through here. This is supposed to be tuned to the specific frequency that the amp is tuned for. And I know that it should be because when they were repairing it, they contacted me to confirm what it said on the back. And there's a little sticker on the back that says 203.6 megahertz. And they wanted to make sure that they tuned the mic exactly for that frequency. And there's a sticker here that also says the same. So I was a little bit mystified. No signal was being picked up at all. I turned the amp on and off, gave it a few seconds to kind of reset and see what was going on. No sound was coming through. Uh, and then I went back to check it again and it was still in the on switch, but the, the LED, the little light here was, was not even on. I thought, well, did something short? Did it kill the batteries? Were those old batteries? They seem new. I changed the batteries out again for new batteries and the light barely came on. I touched the on button, the light would blink and then go back off. I just couldn't get the thing to work. So the update is it was unreliable the first time around. They've repaired it and now it doesn't work at all. So keeping my word, I wanted to come back and just tell everybody, yep, the thing is not something I would recommend. The amp itself, I still love this guy, but I'm gonna use either an entirely separate wireless mic like this headset mic, link to that review below, or I'm gonna use a regular mic like this. I'm just not even gonna bother with this. I'm not gonna send it back for repair again. It's a complete waste of time. I hope that information was useful to you and I'll see you all again in a future video.